When pulling the hose into the attic, protect any finished opening or windowsill with a piece of cardboard or plastic bag. Begin at the end of the attic and work from the eaves toward the middle. Always try to blow with, not across, the joists. As you blow, work your way back toward the attic access point. Whenever possible, hold the hose parallel to the floor. For the best application, the arc of the material from the end of the hose should be about 10 to 14 feet. Increase or decrease the arc by adjusting air pressure. Don't let the insulation bounce off the floor, roof, or trusses. It can cause compression that will reduce the coverage and the R value. Let it fall freely into place. Make sure you're installing the proper number of bags in each area. Also, whenever possible, try to avoid cupping your hand to direct the insulation. Too much cupping compresses the insulation and can reduce coverage by as much as 10 to 20 percent. However, at the attic access point or in very small spaces, this may be necessary. Alternately, you can cut down on air pressure or make other machine adjustments. You'll have more control as the throw gets shorter. Before you finish, look around to be sure you've blown every space and check the attic rulers to be sure that the insulation is a uniform thickness throughout the attic. Always finish the job by filling out an attic card and stapling it where an inspector can see it. Finish insulating by attaching a piece of bat inside the access cover. Throughout this whole process, remember, a clean worksite is a safe worksite. 